So this is a cheap nose bat. friends and welcome back to Moonstone Chariot. If you're new here, I'm Brandy and with my partner Ben, we moved to Australia at the end of January and have been living, working, and exploring the far north Queensland area for the past two and a half months. And in today's video, we will be taking the almost 90 minute road trip to the city of Atherton on the Atherton Tablelands to explore the famous crystal caves, visit one of the many beautiful waterfalls, and get up close and personal with some of our favorite nocturnal friends. If that sounds like a good time, grab your favorite beverage, get cozy, and let's get into it. If you are looking to take the same exact trip, you will need a car as the drive from the city center of Cairns is about an hour and 23 minutes to Atherton. The drive is pretty simple and on a sunny day the views are stunning. Entry into the Crystal Cave storefront is completely free. Here you will find a massive selection of jewelry, crystals, and gemstones. And if you know me, you know that I am a huge crystal girly, so I was in absolute heaven. If you would like to do a self-guided tour of the caves themselves, it will cost you around $25 AUD per adult, or for an extra $25 you can take part in their Crack a Geode experience. This is where you get to select from their wide selection of geodes, use their giant cutter, and take it all home in a cute little gift bag. Now for the caves themselves. These are man-made caves, made by this guy. Rene, who fell in love with crystals and fossils in 1963 when he discovered a huge agate nodule in a creek in North Queensland, leading him to travel all over the world in search of crystals, gemstones, and fossils. The caves were built in 1987 as a way for Rene to share his passion with others. We absolutely loved that the caves were set up in this windy fashion that really made you feel like you were exploring down into the earth, while still operating on a one-way path, making sure that you don't have to worry about missing out on any of the specimens. Your guide booklet does an amazing job of listing out the route of the caves, as well as helping you to identify and learn about each of the pieces as you walk through. You are also given a headlamp as you enter to help you better see all of the amazing qualities of these stones. We pretty much had the place to ourselves and absolutely loved it. I know that it is going to be a fairly small group of people who can relate to this, but the Crystal Caves does kind of remind me of Rock City in Tennessee. Not exactly the same, but a very similar vibe. Definitely worth a visit if you are in the area. After we finished up at the caves, we actually had quite a bit of time before our next stop. So we decided to take a little bit of a detour and head over to Mount Hippomy to see both the waterfalls and the large crater. This is a fairly simple and easy walk from the car park, and the crater really is beautiful. From the viewing platform to the very bottom of the lake is an astounding 130 meters. And as for the waterfall, there are multiple little places that you can climb down to the waterway. We even saw a family swimming down at the very bottom of the falls. Somewhere we would definitely come back to for a quick dip in the water in the future. And then when it was time, we jumped back in the car for our last and final stop, which was only about 10 minutes away from the Crystal Caves, and that was the Tolga Bat Hospital. This was so exciting. Ben actually booked online and kept it a little bit of a secret from me. The Tolga Bat Hospital is a rehabilitation center that has been helping injured bats since 1990, and has been educating locals and tourists alike about these amazing nocturnal creatures. If you've been to North Queensland, or really a lot of different cities in Australia, from what we've learned, you have definitely seen some of the amazing bats flying around at dusk or nighttime. And honestly, getting the chance to visit with these sky puppies, we could not resist. They have tours every day between 3 and 6 p.m. The tour begins with some informative videos, and then they lead you around some of their bat enclosures. Little fun fact about bats, there's actually two different main types of bats, mega bats and micro bats. And no, they are not named that based off of their size, but actually based off of the size of their eyes, which helps us to identify whether or not they use echolocation or not. Our favorite moment was when we got the chance to meet Annie as she came down for dinner. Annie is a mega bat, which means that she does not use echolocation, but unfortunately she is blind. So it does make it a little harder for her to get around compared to the others, but that did not seem to stop her when it came to food. She knew exactly where all the good treats were. We highly, highly, highly recommend this experience. The staff were very sweet and very knowledgeable, and it was really cool getting to see and learn about all the ways that they're helping to protect these amazing creatures. After finishing our tour at the Tolga Bat Hospital, we were back in the car for our mini road trip back home. Honestly, a perfect day off exploring Queensland. Thank you so much for coming along with us on our journey. If you enjoyed the adventure, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see where we head to next. And if you have any favorite places that you think we should go, go ahead and drop those down in the comment box below. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye!